Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing the top 5 cards that could also be getting banned in the future. Pokemon have officially confirmed that 4 cards are getting banned in a month. Wally, Hex, Puzzle, and Getsis. Pretty big bans. Um, since the last ban we had Forest and Archeops, these 4 bans are insanely big. Um, but also, this might be controversial because obviously I'm going to be talking about other cards that could get banned in the future. Cards that I think could also just should be banned in general. Um, but we will talk about that. So if this isn't going to be controversial, but let me know what you guys think of the ban. Let me know what you guys also think should get banned if I didn't include anything on this list. But let's talk about the, the four cards getting banned real quick. So yeah, Hex and Puzzle, I'm fine with. I think Puzzle is a ridiculous card in Expanded. I don't like it at all. I think it is pretty unfair. Well, not unfair, but it, it makes like this really dumb strategy and combo with Zoark, Night March, Sableye, Garboder just to name a few, and also I guess stall decks also take a big hit from Puzzle Leaving. Um, it's fun to play in like Archie and Maxi's decks, but those decks don't shine because of the dominant decks using this card abuse it. So I'm glad to see Puzzle Leaving. I think this is a dumb card and I'm glad to see it go. I already hate it in Standard enough, so I'm expanded to get out of here. <laughs> Hex Maniac, I'm 50-50 on. I like having Hex Maniac in the format. It's a good card to have since it's via Seeker Bolt, but again, it's one of those cards that kind of made Zork a little broken. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm fine with Hex leaving, but at the same time, it's like, eh. I liked having it, but again, it did make Zork broken. Getsis is another card that I'm like, I don't really care about it. From personal experience, I've never actually been Getsis out of a good hand before, but I can understand why it's getting banned. There have been people who have complained about this card in the past, so I totally get why people want this banned, and now they are banning it. It's one of those cards that I think have been on the eyes of Pokemon since Archeops and Forest got banned. It's one of those cards that they're like, yeah, we're keeping an eye on this card. And now it is officially leaving. The one card that I don't understand though is Wally. -E. Um, like I get it, it, you can't do turn one Trev anymore, but why not just ban Trevenant? Trevenant's the bigger picture here because Trevenant has so much to work with, with Treasure, with Trevenant Break, with Dimension Valley. Um, I think Trevenant should get banned, period, not just Wally. -E. I think Wally -E is one of those cards that just, it, it, it didn't need to go. But that's just coming from a guy who plays one Wally -E in his Greninja deck. Um, but anyways, let's get into the top 5 video. The top 5 cards that could potentially be getting banned in the future. So let's get into it. Starting with number 5. Guys, coming in at our number 5 spot, we have Execute. Now, Execute is such a insane card with Zoark. It's kind of nuts. Because, like, think about it. Propagation, you can use it any time you want in your turn. More than once. So Zoark can just trade and just keep spamming it. They have Ultra Ball. They have... Stuff like treasure any card they have to discard from their hand they can just use execute instead now that alone makes zoar kind of insane and expanded there's so many cards that make zoar crazy we're definitely gonna be talking about another big one in a minute but should execute get banned is the question and this is one of those ones that people do consider to be pretty ridiculously broken i've seen people complain about this on reddit before about how good execute is so could execute be seen a ban in the future possibly um, again, it sees play in stuff like Archie's Blastoise, to name a few. Um, it could be a one-of in any deck, in all honesty. Decks that play Treasure can also run and execute. So it's one of those cards that I can definitely see catch a ban, because that ability is ridiculously broken. It kind of takes the effect away of discarding cards in your hand. It kind of removes some of the balancing issues on some of these other cards, like Mysterious Treasure and Ultra Ball and Trade. So yeah, I think Execute is one of those cards that can get banned. So let's get into our number four spot. Coming in at our number four spot is going to go to Skyfield. Now, Skyfield is a card that not only makes Zoar kind of insane, it can make any archetype broken that would spam their bench. Um, now, Skyfield is one of those cards. It is a stadium, and there there are three big stadiums that you know are like in the eyes of the ban. And Skyfield is, in my opinion, one of those. And you know what? It makes some archetypes pretty OP. Right? Like, just Zoark in general being able to use this is broken. Now, I get it. We have Sudowoodo in the format. We're losing Hex Maniac. But you gotta remember, Zoark Garb um, is a thing in Standard. It's a very good thing in Standard. It won two tournaments in the past few weeks. So, this card is still good and expanded without Hex Maniac. Because, yeah, they got Sudowoodo. But you gotta remember, Zoark plays stuff like Guzma. They play Lysander. They play Lycanroc. They'll play... Alolan Muck, and they will also be playing, like, just, I mean, any card, really, that can stop Soda Widow. And Skyfield will just make Zor continue to be very broken. Now, I get it, we have Counter Stadiums and Field Blowers, but again, 
Skyfield is one of those stadiums that can make anything good. Um, there's a lot of decks that, you know, rely on, like, the aspect of using Turbo, um, like Max Elixirs and stuff, and they'll use Skyfield as a way to just be able to spam Shamans on their bench. Stuff like Latios Donk can become a thing because of Skyfield, because they can just fill their bench up with Unknowns and Shamans, and just, it's crazy. So Skyfield is another card that I personally think could and potentially should get banned. So that is coming in at my number four spot, and let's move on to my number three spot. Coming in at my number three spot, guys, is going to go to Trevenant. And Trevenant, man, where is my justice for Wally? Ban Wally, but keep Trev. Now, like, again, I think Trev, just ban it, ban it, because, look, because Wally's getting banned, you know, you still have all these tools in Trev that make it strong, right? And the fact that it's resistance to fighting, it's just, it's still really good. Now, I get it, it's weak to dark. Zorak is the best deck in Expanded, so, like, there's a bit of a balancing kind of conversation there. But no, I think Trev should just go, like, if you're going to ban Wally, just please ban Trev instead, because Trev will still have cards like Dimension Valley, it'll still have the new Tapu Lele promo, it'll still have Mysterious Treasure, Trev Break, just, I don't know, ban it. If you're going to ban Wally, just straight up ban Trevenant. It's one of those cards that completely will shut down a lot of archetypes just because they can get it into play. Now, we still have the Ascension Phantom, so it's not like turn one Trev can't still happen. Like, if your opponent goes second, which they can always choose to go second, they'll still get that turn one Trev. So, I don't know, banning Wally just didn't, I think it definitely hurts Trev a bit, but it's not gonna stop Trev. Trev will still be played. So, if you're gonna ban anything with Trevenant, just straight up ban Trevenant, because there's so many cards that make it good. So yeah, that's just my opinion. I don't remember three spot, Trevenant. Let's move into our top two. Coming in at our number two spot is going to go to Battle Compressor. Now, Battle Compressor, I've had at the top of my ban list for a long time now because I don't like this card. It's just, it's an evil card. It makes Night March ridiculously strong. It makes so many decks OP. Now, I will admit, if this card ever does get banned, which it could be, it'll be a little sad to see because so many cool archetypes will leave the format, like Archie's Blastoise. Um, any deck that uses Maxis and Archies in general, but at the same time, losing Night March it might be a good thing for this format. Um, but yeah, Battle Impressor, it's one of those cards that is ridiculously strong. Um, being able to put three cards in your discard pile is pretty powerful in this day and age, and I don't know. It's just one of those banned cards that, like, yeah, ban it. Um, it's been watched by Pokemon for a while. I remember reading the, um, the original ban list for Forest, Giant Plants, Archaeops, and Shiftry. Um, Battle Compressor, they've been watching for a while now, so it's one of those cards they've considered, and we'll see. I mean, again, it makes decks like Night March ridiculously strong. It makes any deck strong. Just being able to dump three cards in a discard pile is so powerful when you have VS Seeker, when you have, like, combos with dumping Pokemon in the discard pile, dumping just supporters in there. I don't know. It's, it's a card that I think is pretty unhealthy. Um, it will hurt fun decks, again, like Maxis, Archies. I mean, even some, like, fire decks kind of enjoy having Battle Compressor in the format. It's another big game changer, but again, seeing it get banned will get rid of a lot of instances where your opponent can just put any card in the discard pile, which, again, in this format, the discard pile is really, really important. So, I don't know. But anyways, going into our number one spot. And guys, coming in at the number one spot, it goes to Dimension Valley. Dimension Valley will obviously hurt Trevenant and make it pretty much unplayable at that point. But it will make a lot of big archetypes also leave. Stuff like Night March could take a hit from this. But the big one could be the future of Expanded, the Necrozma Tapu Lele deck. Oh my gosh. The Tapu Lele promo card is coming out soon. It's finally got... It's outside of Japan now. It, it was, I think, in France and Germany... It got kind of revealed that it's going to come worldwide eventually. We're going to get that Tapu Lele promo very soon. And when that card comes out, Black Ray Dimension Valley is broken. Not only that, Dimension Valley makes so many Psychic Types work. And since Psychic Types now have cards like Mysterious Treasure to work with, it's pretty insane to think about. So yeah, Dimension Valley, it's like, this card is going to get banned, I think. And it's been on the top of people's ban list idea predictions for a long time now. A lot of people thought this card was going to get banned last year. Never happened. Well, now, it's finally time that this card could see the end of the road. Um, and again, there may be fun decks that can come out of Dimension Valley. Stuff like Mega Alakazam, Mega Gardevoir, Max Potion. But again, it's like, it makes so many like unhealthy decks. Like, Necrozma Black Ray Tapu Lele promo. 
is a ridiculous combo that should not exist, but it will exist because Dimension Valley is a thing. So yes, Dimension Valley, I think, will be the next banned card in the Pokemon TCG. But anyways, let's go into some honorable mentions. I couldn't end this video off without some honorable mentions. So here we go, guys. Let's get into them. We're going to start things off with Sableye. Now, Sableye is one of those cards that is evil. Sableock is very powerful. Sableye Garboder, whatever you want to call it. Very powerful deck. Now, yes, Sableye does lose Puzzle of Time, so it takes a bit of a hit. But Sableye can still get back any other items they want. So that's still broken. They can get back via Seeker, they can get back Crushing Hammer, they can get back Life Dude, they can get back so many items. And they're just going to keep bringing us items too for Sableye to work with eventually. So it's going to come to a point where this card should and could get banned. Just Junk Hunt, very powerful attack. Now we got some trainer cards. The first one is Beast String. This is kind of more for like standard, but kind of expanded too. Um, Beast String, a lot of people think it's really overpowered with Buzzwool. It's really good with any Ultra Beast in general. Now, I think this card is okay. I don't think it deserves a ban, in all honesty. Um, it is a little hard to play around. You basically will never get in, in a point in a game, unless you're playing a spread deck, where Beast String will give you the effect, where you can dodge the effect. It's really hard to dodge. But it's one of those effects that <coughs> I think is okay. I think it's counterbalanced. And they're probably going to try and, they're going to try and make some nerf cards to the Ultra Beast. They're going to make more cards that, are anti-Ultra Beast. So yeah, but Beast String, you know, you never know, could get banned. The next one is going to be Parallel City. This is both for Standard and Expanded. I hate Parallel City a lot. This is one of my least favorite cards ever. It's so annoying when you have a full bench and then they just parallel you. But the reason I hate this card is because so many decks rely on bench space. And when they parallel you and you lose half those bench Pokemon that you cannot get back, because most decks only play one stretcher, it is so frustrating and this card in expanded is going to be even more ridiculous like i don't know i think parallel city is another card that should get banned i wish it got banned in standard never happened probably won't happen for worlds the next one is tropical beach just a quick one this is a very rare card not a lot of people have it so i mean just using it and having it gives you such an advantage over your opponent i mean just mildex abuse this card but again just the fact that it's so hard to get i think it should just get banned because it's so rare um, and then finally we have teammates. This is a weird one, but I chose teammates because I feel like that effect of being able to get any two cards you want when a Pokemon is knocked out might become a very big liability in the future. When we're losing big staple um, supporters like Hex Maniac and Gepsis, teammates could start seeing more play now. It could be that ideal like supporter that they play to be able to get any two cards. And it's any two cards you want. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, so yeah, who knows? Teammates is one of those cards that could also get banned. Just getting any two cards you want is pretty insane. When we're in a format where, like, the search options are very scarce with, like, Ultra Balls and, like, search supporter cards. But teammates get you any two cards you want. So I don't know. Teammates, another card, potentially could get banned in the future. I can definitely see that happening for another big supporter ban. But that will wrap up today's top five video. Top five cards that could get banned in the future. What did you guys think of this video? Do you guys agree with this list? What cards would you put on the list if you were to make it? I would really like to know. But thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me on the road to 3,000 subs. We are very close to 3K subs. Also, I got to thank you guys. We finally hit over 800,000 channel views, which is pretty awesome. Um, we're getting close to 1 mil. I have something special planned for the 1 million mark. Um, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on another PDCGO video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.